Welcome viewers, this is Winch here. I want to present to you in this video uh, and showcase the versatility of the support class. Uh, again, it's an undervalued class. Uh, I don't see a lot of people playing it as much as they should. And I want to show you clips where, in particular, the equipment of the support class can be... I want to broaden your horizons of what the, the class is capable of doing, uh, in particular versus infantry. Well, no C4s great for taking out vehicles, but I also want to show you here in situations like this on Team Deathmatch where we have a lot of physical barriers to places we will want to go. Well, with C4 it allows you to open up gateways and flank the team in ways that they're not predicting. You know, everybody knows there's, you know, those open up doorways and stuff like that, but they're not expecting attacks like this. And again, it kind of goes back to Guerrilla Warfare. I put out a video about that before. You know, trying to make the enemy guess about what's going on here. I'm, I'm listening to where I'm hearing the enemy talk and, and yell out in their commands. And again, they're not anticipating attacks like this with C4. You don't see many people use C4. I'm, I'm finding myself more and more thinking like this tactically on the fly. And I'm finding that it's much easier than I thought before to get C4. I mean, here I am basically taking on a guy in a building. I'm like, yeah. You can hide in there if you want, but uh, you ain't gonna hide from C4. I mean, C4 is an incredibly powerful explosive uh, device. I mean, just one packet of it can really just, um, it can just level a building or a tank, uh, and it's pretty much an instant kill on the ground anywhere around infantry. Now, I'll show you some clips, too, of the mortar strike, which is going to come in the last half of this video. I want to really touch base on that because uh, post-patch now in September, we they've really increased the effectiveness of mortars. Well, I shouldn't say really, but they have dramatically increased the effectiveness compared to what it used to be before. Look at this. Wow. Instant drop with the MG36 from the hip. Um, this is a weapon I'm, I'm using a little bit more and more. And again, here, this is a little bit of campage. This is about the only clip I'll show like this. But, I mean, here I am knee-deep in their spawn. I'm hearing guys run all around me. I'm hearing their voices. That's another thing I really use to my advantage is, is listening for the enemy sp speaking aloud that really I hate I, I kind of hate that whenever I like throw out ammo I'm supply, resupplying my ammo and my guy says you know here's some ammo you know you, you can hear that halfway across the map if you got headset on so sometimes that kind of annoys me so I'm here all these guys run around below me here and I'm being cautious about what I want to do but I'm fi finally draw some attention to myself by pulling the trigger here I know that's gonna get this gonna lure somebody up these steps which I hear doing and I'll pull off the kill like that again here uh, you know how we do it boys Failed knife attempt? Oh, yes it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Keep keep whipsawing that in my face and it ain't going to do nothing for you. But, um, you know, I left these clips because I, I like the MG36. This is a weapon that I feel post-patch is much better than it used to be. I used to really kind of laugh at people that used this gun beforehand because it was just deplorable uh, performance with this gun. But now with the the patch, now they've increased the, uh, the extended mag cap capacity excuse me, to 100 rounds in a drum magazine kind of situation. And you can see this gun wrecks at close range. I, I, if you have not seen my video about the M240B, at which I've coined the Black Widow, I strongly encourage you to watch that video. That's still my primary choice of weapon. But I do like some of the light machine guns in particular. I like this MG36 uh, after the patch now because they've really increased this effectiveness. So I'll show you some clips here uh, in the last half of this video, really showing what this gun's capable of doing. But again, I don't mean to stick that right there, but you can always pick up C4 when you throw it someplace you don't want to by holding uh, your pickup button. Again, there, you can rain out C4, drop it on players. I mean, it, if you get it within, like, a, probably a six-foot radius of a, an infantry out in the open, you'll probably get a kill with it. So, I like to throw it down when I know a guy's going to come up a, a stairwell, kind of like a claymore would be. I mean, obviously, you got to babysit a little bit more. I like to rain it down on guys, um, you know, whatever I can. And, and in particular, when guys are foolish and they, they want to come chasing after me, which is a, a rule I always say, don't do. Never chase after enemies, you know. Um, you know, this is why right here. Here's a guy up here. He's nestled in behind cover. Of course, I draw attention to myself by killing one of his teammates. So here he pops around this corner, throws some bullets at me. Obviously, he's got a tactical advantage. I'm not going to play his game. I can make him play mine. So I'll leave him a little present here. And I just know guys always fall for this. I mean, they, they know they got a piece of me. They're too aggressive. They want to chase me down, hunt me down. Well, there's your trap. And that's what you get. So support class, incredibly effective. And what I want to show in this video more than anything is how the support class changes the entire course of the match single-handedly and I, i'm not talking about rambo style I'm, I'm talking about using your equipment to your advantage and i want to show you how the mortar now can literally change the entire course of the match the mortar 
in particular on maps like this, Team Deathmatch or Conquest or Rush, particularly on Rush, I should really get some footage with that. I'll show some more, one more C4 clip here coming up, which I'll get to. I guess I'll describe this for you. again. I know there's guys spawning all down here. I know there's guys around there. I heard them all talking. I still know there's more down there. Just rain it down off this this ledge. There's nothing they can do. But again, people just don't know how to combat. I mean, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> if you're if you're stuck down there, I mean, you're heavily suppressed already from that C4. I'll finish you off. I mean, there's just they just don't expect kills like that. But um, the support class mortar now, I want to show you what this is capable of doing. And I'm playing with Run Into My Knife XD. He's one of the best players uh, in our clan, uh, One World Order, OWO. And probably one of the best battlefield players I've seen. But, um... So here's what we got. You know, these are the predicaments you get in. Guys camping back here on, on Grand Bazaar. We see it all the time. I, you know, down in these hallways right here. You know, constant. Look, the whole team back here. I got laser sights in my face. I can't even set up a bipod or anything here because they're all respawning back here. And you know how it can go an entire... You can go an entire team death match game mode with this kind of situation. And it happens now in particular on the armored kill maps too. Yeah, where you just kind of get stagnant. You know, everybody's kind of trench warfare, if you want to call it that. Everybody's set in their own ways. You know, everybody's got their defensive positions up. They're playing cautiously. They're, you know, they're peak. They're peeking around corners, throwing bullets, peeking back. Salt class guys, highly accurate weapons. I mean, here we are again. They're all over here across the map. I mean, nothing's going to change. It's almost impossible to flank the team because they're looking down every possible alleyway. Now, smoke may be an uh, effective deterrent to kind of helping break these stalemates. I've, uh, I've showcased that before, you know, the octopus move and all that stuff. But again, here, I mean, I'm just so, particularly with this gun, I mean, there's just nothing I can do at these ranges with my weapon. I can't get in close where this gun's going to be effective at wiping the team out. I mean, you can go literally 15 minutes on a match where nothing changes, and you're just all kind of in these stalemates here. So what do you do? Well, let's first address that sniper that wants to spend seven or eight more kills just sitting back there. That's going to change now. Now, notice with the more that little blip that just show up in the stream, that's your that's the, basically the perimeter of your explosion. So they've, they've expanded the uh, the destructibility of the mortar, increased its explosive radius now, and now as you can see, it took out his his little respawn beacon, and there went his seven kill streak. Done. Game over, buddy. But watch what I do. I'm not gonna sit here forever. I'm gonna throw out some mortar rounds real quick, and I'm gonna pay attention to my situational awareness. Look, I just saw some guys over here to my left. I don't see any teammates over there, so I can't stay here forever. I know they're going to be over here. So quickly pull up my mortar and go address this situation. Now, I don't expect to take out everybody here, but you know how the respawns can happen quick here. At least I can kind of uh, put down a few guys and, and make a stand, but I'm just not going to sit on the mortar forever waiting to get knifed. And listen for the knife too. By the way, if you guys don't know, you cannot knife people on mortars. And here we go, MG36. Throw it down. Three in a row. I left that little clip in there. Again, this weapon's still effective at short to medium range. A long range, though, I'm going to have to say it sucks. Uh, and I throw a grip on it with extended mags. Here again, here I pushed up. Here we are in the same situation. Now watch this, boys. This is what this, this thing does. This is where we change the course of the game. You know, walk, you know, look at your teammates. They're all down here. You know where the hallways are. You know where the enemy is. Get those guys that are on that hallway giving your teammates hell. I mean, just give it to them. And this is the middle of a 15 kill streak right here. Now somebody's even done better. They got a Mav up over here. So now I can see, you know, with the Mav's kind of Tug's ability, it's motion detection. I can see where they're at. Again, they're all spawning back here. I'm pretty much confident that stupid sniper's back up there. Yep, there he is. Throw that down. There you go. No more sniping for you. Again, mortar class, assault port class. Watch what happens, guys. This is still capable of doing this. Here it comes. Here it comes. Looking at that map, looking at the enemy spawning, I've got that tugs there. I'm seeing where the blast radius is here. Pull up just a little bit. Got a kill assist on that. It's not powerful, but if you get it in the right place at the right time, it will be very satisfying. And I have pulled off a five kill multi kill on this map before with this uh, piece of equipment. But we know all post-patch, that, that's changed. But but now it seems like it's really been increasing its effectiveness. And again, there's two fire modes on the border. And, and here it comes, guys. I, it, trust me, it's coming. There's a smoke fire round, and there's a, like, a basically heat show. I don't know what you call it. Like, the, mo the actual mortar, the explosive round. So you can switch in your directional pad right and left. 
and select which kind of round you want. So, and actually, while well, you're, you can't fire just continuously on the, there it is. <laughs> Love it. Triple kill, bitches. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of fun. Oh, I'm sorry. Was somebody trying to knife me? I, I lost, I lost my train of thought there. Uh, uh, anyway, you know that can't happen. Um, anyway, what I'm trying to say is, is that there's two rounds on the mortar, so you can actually switch between the two if you want to expedite your fire mode. So you fire like an explosive round, then you switch your fire mode to the smoke round while the explosive rounds are reloading. So you're like doing a continual fire and you're throwing a lot of smoke down. And I was talking to Knife earlier, match. you say throw some smoke down at the end of the road, which I did, which actually, actually kind of helps your team out quite a bit. So I mentioned how smoke can help you change the course of a battle. Well, you have that in a mortar. So you got that. In addition to explosive rounds, I mean, what more could you ask for in terms of trying to change the tide of a match? So support class, you see the whole team was spawning over there. Support class, incredibly undervalued. Everybody kind of gripes about their weapons, but I've really seen improvement, particularly, of course, with the M240 Bravo. Uh, you put a, a grip and a flash suppressor on that gun and you just turn it on all day long with that kind of loadout. MG36 is effective. M27, I mean, it, you can hold your own with it. Um, uh, it's not what it used to be, I don't think, but you can still do good with it. But there's multiple weapons in the class. I mean, you can try an RPK with a heavy barrel now. I mean, there's lots more options for you, and I think they've really addressed, DICE has really addressed the, uh, you know, the weapons in particular, making them more balanced, effective, close to medium range. The poor class is just incredible. Of course, I've, thrown, I've shown numerous videos about the bipods. Yeah, we all know how effective that can be, holding down a whole alleyway. So don't forget about this class, guys. I encourage you to run it more. Uh, you know, I hate to keep getting on the support class bandwagon, but you can look at my loadouts. I mean, I, I like all the classes. I think they all have their, their advantages. But it's all about, Battlefield's about knowing how to use them all in unison and, you know, capitalize on that and work together. But this is what I want to show you this class is capable of. You know, I've got them out of their little spawn campage, and, you know, we got them out of that stagnant trench warfare we shook it up a little bit. Hope you guys liked the video. Please like and subscribe. It helped you out. And I will have more to come.